welcome back. Yes, I'm outside. I chose to be outside today. I am having a good day today. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the fact that I chose me finally. Today just hits different. I chose to go to the pool. Where am I? The pool. Is it what I imagine it to be? Well, it being my second time here, I mean, it's everything it needs to be, honestly. The reason why I'm making this video is because I kind of wanted to kind of deep dive and explain why I hated college so much. College? Now that we're knee deep into summer, I feel like I could kind of talk about it now. Cause for a while it was very much, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I can't stand this college thing, a scam. They fooled me, they got me. And just kind of being sarcastic about that for the entire time I've been here. But now that it's over, now that it's behind me, the trauma, I could kind of relax, I guess, and let go of the fact that I was at college, have a new college. College was one of those things that I just had to put first, always. It went before my mental health. It went before all the events to have fun to, to go to. That's why I didn't have much time to really enjoy my apartment or this pool. I was so busy doing head ass shit for college. Stuff that I can actually look back on and say how genuinely a waste of time it was. It hurts my feelings to know how much time and money I spent doing all this being out here. Now, one thing I can say is that I'm super grateful to uh, have been away or to have some place to go other than my house, other than my home, okay? Cause my mind would not have been able to expand had I not chosen college. Had I not been slightly manipulated into actually doing this, I would have been terribly stuck in a box that I would have, it would have taken me longer to get out of, honestly. And now that I'm here, still, trying to get out of that box that psychotic toxic box but it's more like getting a taste of the real world actually attempting to adult i think for a long time i was trying to do both which in the end just made me a head ass and over time i became to like hate that part about me just really willing to do anything to maintain college like mental health sharp decline after the pandemic, after the pandemic, bro, I was not good. I was not good. I mean, I was okay. I was always okay. But the fact that it all hit me at once, realizing how fucked up society was, one. Realizing how not a meritocracy this was. Then on top of that, dealing with being black, it, it was an added piece of bullshit to the bullshit potato sandwich that it was. I literally couldn't stand it. Like towards the end of my college experience, I literally don't remember it. I remember being pissed off, angry all the time. Every assignment, every class that I had to get up and go to, every time I got ready to go to the next class, it was just a struggle beyond a struggle. I was, towards the end, I was doing it out of pure spite. Not that train coming, bro. Let me be great. Would you say it ain't a real video until uh, you hear that train? Because that's how often that bitch comes. Hourly, half an hourly, you name it, that bitch is coming. And it's always been like that. I might actually hop in, you know, take a dip. Did not realize it was this tall out here. Oh my goodness, what is that? Sorry, I'm panicking because outside wanna be outside in me today. And don't get me wrong, I'm extremely proud that I went to college, but not for the reason that it simply was. I have a love-hate relationship towards getting my degree. Yeah, I did it and it's mine. No one can take that away from me. But also, who thought it was a good idea to give me that money to be out here? Glad I'm out here, by the way. Very, I mean, grateful that I got education because some people don't even get this shit. But also, I guess I could start with the list of the reasons why I hated college, man. First of all, beyond it being just an entire pyramid scheme, it's just so damn expensive. 
And I get it, not everyone makes it here. Not everyone can afford to be here, which is a huge problem in itself. Like the very fact that college is supposed to elevate you to be able to better prepare you to have better aspirations in life. The fact that everything is just so expensive is kind of disrespectful. Like I've had friends who dropped out on the very basis that they could not afford to continue to be, here, which is really sad. Like I'd hate for money to be the last thing that it comes down to, but even beyond that mental health, a lot of people did not make it okay that was that was a hard pill hard pill to swallow because i don't know i just thought i wouldn't be doing this by myself feels great that i made it to the end but also terrible that it had to end this way i hated that it was so time consuming i always feel like i could be utilizing my time so much more i could have been doing any nine to five which i would have hated still but even a minimum wage job got me a fat you know savable stack in between the summers because had i not been able to build the money i had i would not be able to be here okay it would have taken literally too much okay and it's like the fees you don't even think about that gets you i'm talking about like parking fees not even fees what are they um parking passes they ran like 200 a pop and sometimes that wouldn't even guarantee you a spot by the time it's all said and done you've already spent thousands and thousands that you can't even like recall nor want to i resisted the urge of looking at my bank account ever it actually gave me a bunch of anxiety to ever look at my bank account ever i felt not stupid because i'm literally at college but i felt like i felt like no matter what it was that i attempted to do in life it always came down to like do i have a degree or not that was the whole point and really just feeling the lack of it got me nothing like i'm not gonna cap a bachelor's degree i do feel better just having that to my name having that under my belt oh win but i don't know if that's just like me falsely wanting to believe that because you know i uh i just need to believe that for my mental sanity i really don't think it did that much in terms of like job marketing especially since i'm not just going full out trying to get a job in my a job in my field which there are plenty of and i feel like i could have <laughs> really gotten a job anywhere but the fact that it just seems like too much now i really hate it and i know this isn't nobody's fault but i really hated the pandemic part i felt like that took away a huge chunk of what my experience of this actually would have been i understand not everything's perfect not everything was gonna be perfect but i spent almost like two years being in college in my room my 21st birthday at home granted deadly pandemic no one saw coming as far as we know but also just the fact that it made me realize that college was based so much on the fun you could have now i realized pretty early it was basically a what you make it type of thing no one was gonna try to get you to do drugs no one's gonna try to get you to drink no one's no one's gonna do that the movies lied. They were pretty accurate in how you can choose your own adventure. Choose what you want to do. You want to drink? You want to get drunk? You want to have fun? You can go do that. You can do everything you want to do that you've seen in the movies in college. But in reality, it was just a lot. The whole thing, stressful. The fact that I couldn't handle maintaining my YouTube channel while in college, the sacrifices, my God. Absolute sacrifices. Like, I feel like I could have been somewhere by now, done something by now, but here I am, $30,000 in debt. Hopefully one day I'll feel less shitty about that because I don't know, I just feel like I can let that go at some point. The thing that related to the pandemic was really, for me, the people. I feel like, especially in my field, filmmaking, whatever you want to call it, whatever have you, it was very heavily based on the people you could get to know and the sort of moves you can make with in the sort of circles you would have been around. Now, I did get my fair share of those circles. I did get a fair share of networking, whatever it was whatever it may have you but i don't know something something about it makes me feel like i really missed out i didn't get to um do as much plus again that mental health thing really on top of everything the fact that they just recently made a black film club they made a black black people yes separate <laughs> uh short film club and they made that kind of right before the pandemic so that never really held steady and <laughs> by the time they really got going with the stuff the projects they were doing i was already graduated i'm already done okay i can't even bring myself to think about the thoughts to think any more college i need that that part of my life that sequence 
to be over. That chapter over. Glad I'm not there. I will not. And I get my older folks asking me all the time to be like, are you going back? Like, get your master's, get your doctor. Fuck that. With a hard passion. <laughs> because literally the amount of mental health I've already sacrificed not the way i could never do that again and the people who still do that i feel like are lost unless they have like a true goal true thing that they're doing a waste of time and money but the reality of that is kind of difficult it's a love hate because so many great things did happen while i was in college but overall i would not recommend three out of ten not recommend <laughs> I wish I had known it would have been like this when I had signed up way back 2018 because I wasn't even that pressed about college. I, to be honest, after my first choice was out the window for me financially and UNT was the wave, that's the school I went to by the way. I don't know if I've ever officially said that but now that I'm officially graduated and I think it's about any school. It's not just this particular school that I went to. I really think any school I would have went to would have been the same kind of general sense. Really wish somebody would have told me way back in the Benin gang that it would have been like this. Not that it would have changed my like social desire to have a bachelor's degree, at least under my belt. That's, that's literally what everyone who I trusted around me, the adults around my life, everyone who I trusted sort of set the same sentiment like, just go to college, like, it'll be a lot better in the job market. No matter what happens, no matter what you even do, end up doing, like, it will be better to have had a degree. I definitely haven't had enough time to really experience the beyond school part. Like, I've been in school for 18 years. 18 literal, literal years. I've never done anything for that long in my life. I literally started when I was four years old. And now that I have the full sense, or guess, knowledge in life, I think that kind of wasn't worth it. But bittersweet for me because, I don't know, I got it. I got it. But was I also high during my graduation? Yes. You bet your sweet ass, I was glazed than a cinnamon bun at my own graduation because one, couldn't take the stress. It <laughs> took everything I had to, kept it to, to keep it together up until my actual graduation. But at the actual graduation, needed to be gone. Needed to be glazed, couldn't handle it. I literally, I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but I forgot my tassel at my actual graduation. Didn't mean much to me. Took the pictures, made everyone in my family happy, did the thing, hell yeah. But it was too hot and um, there were so many of us, there needed to be like rounds of graduation ceremonies, like separate ceremonies. And once everything was all said and done, they started kicking us out. Like, okay, you got it, get the fuck out. That kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but I also was rubbed the wrong way a long time ago i stopped getting a fuck a long time ago and i feel like that makes me dangerous to society honestly i feel like a lot of people feel and think the way that i do but you know society really tells them to keep that shit down keep that shit quiet because if you ever try to move in your own way instead of just blindly going with the mass following like a sheep i'm too individualistic my goal's too high my standards too too big okay i almost fall under the pressure of myself because i'm such a professionistic a head ass even i want my money back if i could get my money back like return the damn paper <laughs> i would period well that's all i have for today guys i feel like i could explain this even deeper in more detail if you want the the stats of how it all went down for me what exactly was some main key points that made me absolutely hate college the way i do definitely comment down below i oh and if you're watching this rachel this is the sixth i know i totally didn't come to your um thing on the third but trust me i was struggling but anyways thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great day today and uh i'll catch you guys next time uh, bye <laughs> I am gonna enjoy this pool. Why? Because I have a month left here. Fight me.